OpenAI just launched their much anticipated GPT store. It's live as of right now. You can discover and create custom versions of ChatGPT that combine instructions, extra knowledge, and any combination of skills. They say it's been two months since they announced GPTs and users have already created over 3 million custom versions of ChatGPT. Many builders have shared their GPTs for others to use. Today, we're starting to roll out the GPT store to ChatGPT Plus, Team, and Enterprise users so you can find useful and popular GPTs. Visit chat.openai.com slash GPTs to explore. Some of the new features is to discover what's trending in the store. The store features a diverse range of GPTs developed by our partners and the community. Browse popular and trending GPTs on the community leaderboard with categories like DALI, writing, research, programming, education, and lifestyle. New featured GPTs every week, we also highlight useful and impactful GPTs. Some of our first featured GPTs include personalized trail recommendations from all trails, search and synthesize results from 200 million academic papers with consensus, expand your coding skills with Khan Academy's Code Tutor, design presentations or social posts with Canva, find your next read with books, and learn math and science anytime, anywhere with CK12. Flexi AI Tutor. Now, if you wanted to have your GPT included in the store, if you wanted to make it public, building your own GPT is simple and doesn't require any coding skills. If you'd like to share your GPT in the store, you'll need to save your GPT for everyone. Selecting anyone with a link will not be shown in the store. Verify your builder profile, and you have to be aware of the usage policies and brand guidelines to make sure that the GPT is compliant users are able to report GPTs. And the exciting thing for a lot of people is that OpenAI will allow builders to earn based on GPT usage. In the first quarter of 2024, they will launch a GPT builder revenue program. As a first step, US builders will be paid based on user engagement with their GPTs. We'll provide details on the criteria for payments as we get closer. Team and enterprise customers can manage GPTs. This was yet another big announcement that came out right after the launch of the GPT store. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And the GPT store will be available for ChatGPT Enterprise, where large companies that use ChatGPT will have enhanced admin controls like choosing internal only GPTs. So here are how the GPT will look. Let's look at some of the recommendations. Here's all trails. You can say things like, what are the best hikes near San Diego? This GPT will pull from alltrails.com. So they have some sort of proprietary information that they're using for this. You have to allow it before it's able to run. But once you allow it, it's able to pull that data, probably a list of all the trails that they have, and they're able to output it for you through this GPT. So as you can see here, it gives you a list of trails to go near San Diego. First one is Torrey Pines Beach, which yes, this thing knows what it's talking about. And it has a link to the actual trail loop where you can get more information. It also outputs an image of it and some basic stats about it. Here's what the GPT store will look like. It's currently being rolled out to all ChatGPT Plus users. So you may not see it yet, but gradually everyone will get access to it. The other big announcement is that OpenAI is introducing ChatGPT Team. They're saying we're launching a new ChatGPT plan for teams of all sizes, which provide a secure collaborative workspace to get the most out of ChatGPT at work. ChatGPT team offers access to all our advanced models like GPT-4, DALI-3, and tools like advanced data analysis. This was Code Interpreter back in the days. It additionally includes a dedicated collaborative workspace for your team and admin tools for team management. And as with ChatGPT Enterprise, you own and control your business data. If you're curious about learning more about how to build your own custom GPTs, whether for personal use or for sale on the store, click subscribe. And here's a few words by Sam Altman from the original announcement about what he expects the GPT store to become. Those are three great examples. In addition to these, there are many more kinds of GPTs that people are creating and many, many more that will be created soon. We know that many people who want to build the GPT don't know how to code. We've made it so that you can program a GPT just by having a conversation. We believe that natural language is gonna be a big part of how people use computers in the future, and we think this is an interesting early example. So I'd like to show you how to build one. All right, so I wanna create a GPT uh, that helps give founders and developers advice when starting new projects. Um, I'm gonna go to create a GPT here, and this drops me into the GPT builder. Uh, I worked with founders for years at YC, and still, whenever I meet developers, the questions I get are always about how do I you know, think about a business idea? Can you give me some advice? 
Uh, I'm going to see if I can build a GPT to help with that. So to start, GPT Builder asks me what I want to make. And I'm going to say, I want to help startup founders think through their business ideas and get advice after the founder has gotten some advice, uh, grill them on why they are not growing faster. All right. So to start off, I just tell the GPT a little bit about, about what I want here. And it's going to go off and start thinking about that. And it's going to write some detailed instructions for the GPT. Um, it's also going to, let's see, ask me about a name. How do I feel about Startup Mentor? That's fine. Uh, that's good. So if I didn't like the name, of course, I could call it something else. But it's you know going to try to have this conversation with me and, and start there. And you can see here on, uh, on, on the right in the preview mode that it's already starting to fill out the GPT, um, where it says what it does. It has some like ideas of additional questions that I could ask. Um, and <laughs> you know what? I actually, so it just generated a candidate. Of course, I could regenerate that or change it, but I sort of like that. So I will say, that's great. And you see now that the GPT is being built out a little bit more as we go. Now, what I want this to do um, how it can interact with users. I could talk about style here, but what I'm going to say uh, is I am going to upload transcripts of some lectures about startups I have given. Please give advice based off of those. All right. So now uh, it's going to go figure out how to do that. And I would like to show you the configure tab. So you can see some of the things that were built out here as we were going um, by, by the builder itself. And you can see that there's capabilities here that I can enable. Um, I could add custom actions. These are all fine to leave. Um, I'm going to upload a file. Uh, so here is a lecture that I picked that I used to, that I gave with some startup advice. Um, and I'm going to add that here. In terms of these questions, uh, this is a dumb one. The rest of those are reasonable. Uh, and like very much things founders often ask. Um, I'm going to add one more thing to the instructions here, which is be concise and constructive with feedback. All right. So again, if we had more time, I'd show you a bunch of other things. But this is, uh, this is like a decent start. And now uh, we can try it out over on this preview tab. So I will say, um, what's a common question? What are three things to look for? Oops. What are three things to look for when hiring employees at early stage startup? Now it's going to look at that document I uploaded. Um, it'll also have, of course, all of the background knowledge of GPT-4. That's pretty good. Those are three things that I definitely have said many times. Um, now we could go on and it would start following the other instructions and you know, grill me on why I'm not growing faster. But in the interest of time, I'm going to skip that. Uh, I'm going to publish this only to me for now. Uh, I can work on it later. I can add more content. I can few actions that I think would be useful. Um, and then I can share it publicly. So that's what it looks like to create a GPT. With, thank you. By the way, I always, I always wanted to do that after like all of the YC office hours. I always thought, man, someday I'll be able to make a bot that will do this and that'll be awesome. So with GPTs, we're letting people easily share and discover all the fun ways that they use ChatGPT with the world. You can make private GPTs like I just did. Or you can share your creations publicly with a link for anyone to use. Or if you're on ChatGPT Enterprise, you can make GPTs just for your company. And later this month, we're going to launch the GPT store. You can list a GPT. Thank you. I appreciate that. You can list a GPT there, and we'll be able to feature the best and the most popular GPTs. Of course, we'll make sure that GPTs in the store follow our policies before they're accessible. Revenue sharing is important to us. We're going to pay people who build the most useful and the most used GPTs a portion of our revenue. We're excited to 
foster a vibrant ecosystem with the GPT store. Just from what we've been building ourselves over the weekend, we're confident there's going to be a lot of great stuff. We're excited to share more information soon. So those are GPTs, and we can't wait to see what you'll build.